Yo, yo, yiggity, yo. Yeah, the 90s are back. What of it? What's up? <laughs> Welcome to our 23rd episode here on November 2nd. We're coming to you live from the Microsoft campus here in Redmond, Washington. No rolled R's no for me roll. today. I'm disappointed. Got this I actually, to I actually like right. it. I'm Malik. How's it going? It's true. From Tips His and Tricks, the best show on the internet. <laughs> Unequivocally. Yeah. But does it involve mixer, ma mixer magic, which is all about FTL and interconnectivity? I bet it does. Yeah. FTL allows you to stream at sub-second latency, and interactivity is where viewers don't just watch. They actively participate in what's happening on screen. It's funny about actively participating. I lost my computer just now, so this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Nowadays, there's a lot to cover in the eSports scene, and since this show is for you, you get to decide what we talk about via them voting options you'll see soon below the video window. That's right. We don't get to choose the topics we discuss. Sadly. You'll be doing that for us. We only have 30 minutes every week, so make sure you get your vote in if you want to hear your favorite eSport discussed. Okay, now before we get into those games that we all know and love, this week we normally start the show with a special segment. This time around, it's called Clip of the Week. Ooh, Clip of the and Week. And of course, Overwatch team intros. Who here is excited for the Overwatch? You guys were talking about it before the show, and now I'm, I'm pumped. You're pumped. Because it's a New York team. There's I'm from New York. There, well, so now you got it. That's great. That's all I needed. You a Mets fan as well? Yankees fan. Yankees. Well, Yankees all day. Them. I know. At any rate, for this <laughs> week's clip, we have to take a look at one of the myriad of team announcement videos that are coming out of the Overwatch League. Yes, the start of the preseason for the league is right around the corner, and Blizzard has been working with the various teams to announce their official name, logos, and colors that they'll be wearing on the battlefield. Although 12 teams in total will be a part of the inaugural season, let's take a look at the announcement video for the team representing New York, my home state. It's the New York Excelsior. It doesn't matter where you started. It doesn't matter where you came from. There's one reason you fight to get here. To prove you have what it takes. In this game, you choose to become a hero. Or you drop off the map. Because this city demands the best of the best. Bigger than the rest. We push each other higher, further, excelsior, ever upward. Welcome to New York. We're back. I decided to stand with you. Now, uh, it's great <laughs> to see these teams investing in producing content like this, and we know they'll only get better at it from here. It's true. Now, mostly everyone in the scene has their eyes on that Overwatch League, as this endeavor should have lasting effects for the esports industry as a whole. Why? Geopositioning. Just talking about it. Check go. out more of these videos. Plus, I guess you can also consider the team ownership, too. That's a big deal, because traditional sports is getting in on it. Here we go. Go to overwatchleague.com for a rundown of the recent team announcements and tune in for BlizzCon, which is happening right now. Ooh, provide the role. But it's happening right now, yes. That's exciting. So let's talk about live voting. All right, our in interactivity is always enabled for this show, so that means we're going to turn on live voting from time to time. Sure. Right now, you'll see four choices to choose from that selects the next segment. These choices are below the video window in the interactive section. Just click on the one you want. It's that oh. easy. So look at that. Yeah. So we've got uh, those four options. Let's you want to hear about Rocket League. How about Paladins? Mm. They're a nice mm. little uh, yeah. ball of fish there. Or the old Utah Mega Num Monthly Whatever or Madden. Is. So uh, you want to know what Utah Mega Monthly is? I know I do. <laughs> yeah. So pick it. Pick Feel it. free. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a vote in. Feel free to put a vote in. Let's I see. will not. <laughs> but you all will, and that's like what's important. See? What would you like to see? Oh, first of all. Here's the thing. Okay. If I had my way, this show would be about the following esports. Overwatch, Call of Duty, CSGO, Halo, Rocket League. Okay, so all oh, of so them. Oh, so all of them, yeah. League of Legends, Dota. <laughs> I mean, Paladins, of course. It won. Hey, throw a Hearthstone in there. Who's to say? Hey, I understand. I understand. You get it? I'm a noob at esports, so I love being on the show to learn more. See? It's oh, true. It's and you so know good. what? You can, too. All right. So what in one? In four seconds. Oh, we, have, we still have some time. So get your votes in if you haven't voted yet. And Yahtzee. All right, let's Looks see. like Paladins is the case. Paladins wins. All right, as we mentioned last week, High res Studios' Paladins console series is here, and we're already halfway through the first month of competition. For those who missed the announcement, the series is open to all Xbox and PS4 players in North America Cross or Europe. Yeah, exactly. From now until October of 2018, teams will battle through 12 monthly tournaments online, with each one consisting of three weeks of open bracket play. The top eight teams from each region will then face off in a monthly final where they'll have a shot at a cash prize, earn some crystals, and potentially earn an invite to compete at the inaugural Paladins Console World Championships, taking place at High res Expo in 2018. Oh, show. Now, yep. they'll be giving away over 84,000, yes, you heard it, three zeros crystals, and over 19,000 each month 
in dollars. <laughs> to the winning teams, $250,000 total during the course of next year. Now, North America on the Xbox side of things, so NA, Xbox, erased, was back, defeating Goodnight Moon 3-1, to one, a decisive victory, I might say. Now, on the PS4 side, Invigorate and Coastal Mayhem went head-to-head -head once again. Invigorate coming out stronger this time through and took another win, 3-1. That seems to be a theme. Yeah, it, it does. All right, so over half, over in Europe, in the Xbox half, the Gangstars went up against TST. It came to the last bit of the final game, but Gangstars managed to pull through last second to take the win. On the PS4 side, Casual Forever came back after losing last week, taking on Baguette Death Star. That's what like they called that. me in college. Okay. <laughs> Won't ask about that. All right, Baguette Death Star <laughs> played super strong through, uh, though and took Casual Forever 3 to 0. It's true. Now, huge congratulations to these teams. Now, we've still got another week of battles to catch up on, so make sure you catch up on all the action or watch the video on demand. Tune in at Mixer.com slash Paladins Game. Teams battle every Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Ooh. Which, if I was going to say, if you're going to start watching, mm -hmm. this would be the Sunday to be. Why? Why? Falling back Fallen. if you're in the U.S. There you go. That's true. That's right. Falling back. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm I, concerned. I don't, I don't like when the sun goes down really early. I, I, you know. Okay, sure, sure. But that's how the world works, you know? You know you what? True words were never it. spoken. <laughs> yeah, that's how the Speaking world Speaking of words that are spoken, <laughs> let's see. We've got Sm Super Smash Brothers. We've got... Ooh, I can't... Rocket League? Yeah, dude, Rocket League let's and Counter-Strike. Counter oh, 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 guess which one I want. Just kidding, it doesn't matter because it's all up to you. <laughs> Remember to that you. when you're voting. Yes. And last week, speaking of Palins, we had Evan on the show. They interviewed Evan, and he, was, he didn't wear the suit. He mm. has, has a pretty good suit. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but he had a great thing to say about people who are skeptics of esports. He was like, why are you skeptics? Esports pulls in more concurrent viewers than mm. traditional shows. So that's awesome. It's true. It's, I really it's, want to get into it. Well, and uh, speaking of uh, viewers, we'll talk hopefully later about uh, League of Legends Worlds, which is Ooh. one of those uh, massive viewer numbers they talk about. Oh, look at that. Super Smash wins. Oh, it's a mega Ooh. monthly. Shall I start? You shall. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now, in the words <laughs> of the great James Rasmussen, life is beautiful, rhythmic, perennial, and wondrous to behold. And such it is that every six months, the fledgling, yet robust, talentless, yet brave, unattractive, yet confident inhabitants of the Utah Super Smash Brothers 64 scene unite to have a monthly tournament. Now, this monthly tournament, it's like no other. For as previously stated, it only occurs every six months. Hmm. True story. Yeah, okay. Just as the gray-headed albatross roaming the South Pacific Ocean in a wide and majestic berth only sees its mate on the remote Kurjan Lin Island twice a year, the Utah Smash 64 scene unite, uh, unites every six months to spar, rut, and attempt to dominate, yet only one can emerge victorious. That this is the Utah Mega Monthly. I'm going to tell you something right yeah. now. Whomever wrote this is they my were new feeling hero. Very for the day. poetic. I'm I, very I impressed tell. by this. <laughs> I love. No, no. It's the, good. It is delightful. Now, over the weekend, our producer Will, aka Fire Punch, I'm assuming this is who it is, is that yeah. did this, flew out to beautiful Salt Lake City to investigate, record, and compete in this auspicious event. Auspicious? Ooh, he's auspicious? giving us too much credit with these big words. I'll tell you something. <laughs> I am <I'm laughs> delighted. Now, over 40 local players showed up to Lehigh's Thanksgiving point to throw down against the foreign invaders from Washingtonia and Colorado. That's, of course, Washington, which is mm -hmm, where we're here. Mm -hmm. Yep, this was a, yet another tournament to showcase the waterfall tournament format, which is quickly rising in popularity. In WTF, you play in round-robin pools, and so you climb your way to the bracket by placing the top two of your division after placement pools. There are no eliminations until division play. True story. Now, representing Colorado was Matt Rush, a notable Captain Falcon player that's been making waves recently. Yes. Matt Rush was expected to do well, but few expected him to win uncontested. He rushed through Utah's best and took the grand final over Utah's numero uno player, that of course, Tyco, without dropping a single game. Yep. Following singles, a crew battle was hosted with the winner and runner-up of singles as team captains. Each captain chose seven players to join their team, sharing 32 stocks with four per player, and the winner carries over their remaining stocks into the next game. It came down to an 8-7 to seven match, and our very own Fire Punch took all seven remaining stocks to win the battle for Team Matt Rush. 
Even though he ended up getting fifth place in the tournament, I'm sure this win is enough to buy him a few more months as our producer. Uh, just a few. Uh, <laughs> that and the intro to this particular yeah. story. Yeah. Now, Super Smash Brothers 64 is almost 19 years old. Ooh. Give that a moment to sink in. But it still has a welcoming and dedicated scene of players that are passionate about competition combos and community. Sorry, saying that three times fast. Yeah. Get everything you need to know on Twitter at 64 underscore league. Mm -hmm. Facebook.com slash groups slash smash six four community. Those six and four are numbers and r slash smash bros on Reddit. Mm, we got through this together. Wow, we did do yeah. that together. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, Will has my vote. <laughs> Speaking of voting. It's time to vote. Let's hear about what you all, all right. want to know. Let's see what we got here. Let's talk about some esports this week. Let's see what you're what you're jonesing for. Ooh, Halo. Halo! Everyone knows I'm a big Halo fan. You are a big Halo did you, fan. Did you watch the uh, tournament that they had on campus? Uh, had a on this here. campus? Yeah, in Studio D, in this building. It was when employees. was this? Yeah, it was awesome. It was two days ago? It was two days ago. Well, yeah, I, it was Monday. Well, they were see, playing now on Xbox I wish people would... Uh, Lennox, Lennox our producer, it. directed it. Ah. So obviously, Lennox <laughs> is a double threat at least. Yeah, exactly. But it was, <laughs> at least. Oh, he can dance. Oh, he can dance. <laughs> His dancing salsa? skills will come into play at some point, I am sure. Precisely. Ethan. Well, Ethan's already doing the jive over it looks there. Looks like Halo's winning. Fine. Well, it sounds like you should probably start your Halo engines. Let's do this. Though the HCS Fall 2017 Finals came to a close last week, the fires of competition are still burning strong in the Halo esports community. A new chance for players to prove themselves has come to last. Has come at last, I should say. The Halo World Championship 2018. Now, exactly. Oh, sorry. You go for I'm it. You know what? You're on a roll. Back and better than ever, the World Championship will kick off with several open qualifiers around the world, starting with an open land event in the United States. After that, an additional four regional qualifiers will be held throughout Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Latin America, and North America. Okay. Now let's talk about what happens after the dust settles from these preliminary bouts. At 16, teams will stand tall, ready to face the best of the best to claim Halo. Halo Esports glory and a substantial share of that $1 million prize pool. Now, in addition to the main event, each open qualifier will also feature a free-for-all tournament given Lone Wolves, you heard me right, a chance to win $5,000. Now, be sure to stay tuned to Halo.gg for more information as it's announced. Yes, and if you can't wait to get more Halo Esports action in your life, which why... Why would it's, you? This is why you're here. Honestly, be sure to check out your local Microsoft Store Halo 5 tournament starting next Monday, November 6th. Part of the newly expanded Microsoft Store tournament program, these local tournaments will begin utilizing the recently announced Halo 5 local server app, which allows players to organize their own pro-level multiplayer tournaments. For more information on the local server app or to sign up for an upcom upcoming tournament at your local store, head over to HaloWaypoint.com. Malik, yeah. are you going to head over to HaloWaypoint.com? Uh, actually, I am. I, I was watching the tournament which they were utilizing this uh, two days ah. ago. And, and it, by the way, they were playing on Xbox One X. Fantastic. Ooh. Fantastic. Would you call I'm it the most powerful console ever devised? It's a monster. Would you say that it's 40% more powerful than any other console on the market? I would say that. With six teraflops of GPU power, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, and 326 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, it's a monster. Plus, and I remember that because I am, I am sad. Because you work here. There you go, because I work here. I like that excuse a lot better than I'm sad. No. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, it's all wall-to-wall -wall Xbox around here. So Honestly, I totally people are understand. excited. People are excited. All right, it's so true. we have voting open now. Mm -hmm. And we have Counter-Strike oh, Counter at the top. in the lead. Come on. I know you're excited for Sorry, this. Sorry, I mean, what? That's fine. <laughs> uh, you also have, is that Madden? I can't We have Madden. Read. We have Rocket League. We have a little bit of Street Fighter V. Ooh. Little, little you got punch, it. You punch got action. everything. You got, see, that's the thing about our show is that we, we have... We have all of the things. Yes, all of the things. All in fact. of the things. All yes. of the esports things. The punch, punch, the shoot, right shoots. The drive, drive. Which one? I, I yeah, didn't see. Yeah, see, I believe it's street, uh, Counter Strike. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this go one for, for a hot sec. <laughs> Five weeks remain in the Gfinity Elite Series as we clear week four of the competition. Now, in the CSGO space, Team Method went back and forth with Infuse, but stayed just ahead to finish the Series 16 to 11. In arguably the most intense matchup of the series yet, Reason faced off against previously undefeated Team Epsilon. Now, watch how quickly Reason decimates Epsilon in this clip. 
That's a nice headshot. There we go. There we have it. That's you notice they're uh, they're super psyched about that moment. That's yeah. that's what super psyched esports players look <laughs> like. like. All right, let's get back to it. Now, yeah, exactly. <laughs> go for it. There, all right. Reason was down as Epsilon led at 13 to seven, but they clawed their way back through two rounds of over overtime to defeat Epsilon 22 to 18. That's 40 rounds of Counter Strike. That's tw two if minutes a round. That's unless crazy. Unless for some reason you defeat Epsilon. Sure. Notably, this was reason. Uh, this was reason players Tesses. Is that Tesses? Mm -hmm. All right, 40th round, winning frag of the Elite Series, mm -hmm. and a great turn of event for an underdog team. Prophecy ended its losing streak with their first series win against Excel, 16 to 8. And, and what a what a delightful turn of events it was. Way go. to go, Prophecy! <laughs> Finally, Endpoint crushed NV 16 to 5, and that is a crush for sure. Though to be fair, NV's main roster was away competing in Clash of Nations, mm -hmm. which obviously is something that was a thing. Now, with five weeks remaining, the playoffs are still announced. Anyone's game, be sure to watch this weekend's competition at Mixer.com slash TV. I'm going to real quick say something. Yeah. Epicenter, which uh, Epicenter. we hadn't mentioned earlier, but uh, if you're into the if you're into the top tier CSGO elite, mm -hmm. Gfinity, fantastic. Epicenter also happened this last weekend. Okay. And if you want to talk about the Elder Statesmen, the people who are at the top of the top, SK Gaming, the Brazilians, took on the Elder Statesmen of the CSGO franchise that, of course, VP, or also known as Virtus Pro. A lot of people discounted VP a long time, it's last six months or so, and they came back and almost beat number one. Ooh. Up seven, I believe, in the uh, HLTV ranking. So something else to think about at the center. Okay, okay, that's impressive. I'm that telling you, it was in Moscow, Epicenter Moscow, I think. Ooh, Moscow. I've always I wanted know. to go to Russia, but I don't like flying, so I just have to deal Boy, with that. Boy, you know, it just, it just, <laughs> you were just a whole thing right there. A whole thing. I love thing. it. Speaking that's, of which. We have voting. Let's suck. All right, so we have League of Legends, Rocket League, World. Street Fighter V, and a little bit of Dota 2 action. Are you sure, a fan sure. of Dota, Dota I'm, 2? I, yeah, I'm a MOBA fan. I okay. mean, listen, it's hard not to be. Whenever you're going to, uh, if you want to talk about something that's fun to watch, mm -hmm. any th in reality, they're all fun to watch, which is sure. why we are here. However, a stadium filled with people I've heard of these. into the MOBAs, whether it's Dota 2, League of Legends, the whole nine, and I'll oh. tell you something, it's, it's fun. And right now, I don't know if anyone knows this, but there's a thing called Worlds happening, Ooh. which uh, looks like we're going to be potentially talking about right now. From League of Legends. You want to start? It's true. I will start. Right. Uh, I, I'm going to start by saying, obviously, they had some big changes that came to the NLS, NLS, <laughs> NALCS blah, 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 for 2018. They're going to continue to formulate their strategy. They have announced they'll be moving to member organization structure for the upcoming year. This way, pros and teams will be able to stay securely with the league long term. Now, during phase one, teams applied to become part of the NALCS. They had to be outline their team strategy, brand plan, all of the things that you need in a oh. nice, I'm sure, uh, bound notebook of some kind. Sure. Nice competition. Maybe it's paper. Maybe. I don't Who know. knows? All right. In phase two, teams went through an in-person meeting at the Riot campus and talked with esports leadership on their next steps and cleared up any questions. Riot is still working out exactly how NALCS 2018 will operate, but so far, they know that it will be made up of 10 teams that have passed through both phases. Those teams will also need to pay their buy-in fee of $10 million. Is that a thing? It is, it's true. Oh and goodness. those are that's $10 million for franchises that are already established, which you're gonna see here. If the team was <sighs> not part of the NALCS or the Challenger series prior to this change, they will also have to pay an additional three three million, that's thirteen million dollars oh as a transition fee. This is how you know esports has gotten serious. So much money. But don't worry about the teams that aren't selected or didn't apply. They will get to sell their player contracts to existing teams or release their player to free agency. Mm -hmm. uh, the new and existing teams will have until November 21st to buy those players' contracts. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like NSLCS is going the route of Major League Sports, especially since they're partnering with Barrett Sports Group, who has clients in MLB, NFL, NHL, and MLS. Okay. And, yeah. yeah, it's true. And I was going to say, this actually happened recently. New York Yankees announced they're investing in Vision Esports. Our Thank you, New fan. Yorkian. New Yorkian? I like it. It's That's fine. It's better than New Yorker. Basically giving them a seat at that NALCS table with the Echo Fox organization. Echo Fox, of course, co-founded by Rick Fox. Ooh. NBA fame. Of NBA fame. Okay. Three-time NBA All-Star. Yeah, he's a basketball player. Championship <laughs> balls. Earlier this week, the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors, and by that we mean earlier last month, <laughs> threw their hats into the LCS ring. So look out for these teams to make their debut next season. There's even more news when it comes to Riot, but right now they're obviously very into League of Legends Worlds, which unfortunately does not 
offer any NA or EU teams at this point. But you know what? You're going to have some fantastic... Listen, mm -hmm. Faker, okay? Number one player of all time. Let's just call it what it is. Uh, he is uh, pretty much carrying his team right now. SK oh. Telecom 1. There's always that one very good player. I'm just saying, tomorrow or the third? Is the third tomorrow? The third is tomorrow, and that's yeah. when you're going to start watching your League of Legends World Finals. I might turn it on. You should, although you know, it is on, because it is in China, it's on at like very odd hours <sighs> for us in the... It's okay, I'm always anyway. awake when I'm not sleeping. <sighs> there you go. I know it's, hey, listen, this is, this is what happens when you're not sleeping, you're awake when you're not awake, you're sleeping. And I would say welcome to Thursday. <laughs> welcome to Thursday. There you go. That's Kate's excuse, and I'm going to use it's it too. True. All right, so voting is almost done. Let's see what's going to win. It looks like Heroes of the Storm is Oh, Heroes of the in. Storm. Never heard of this game before. So. Ah, well, I feel like perhaps you should do this. There you go. I'm going to read it and learn I, at the I same time. I believe in you. So it's finals time for the Heroes of the Storm Global Championship. Top talents from NA, EU, China, and South Korea have battled each other in the Premier League for the last year. Now three teams from each of these regions, along with teams from Latin America, Southeast Asia, Taiwan, Australia, and New Zealand are talking, are taking each other on take, Thursday, taking Thursday, each other man. on in the HGC finals to determine the best of the best. Okay, so let's yeah. talk about that best of the best. That's, of course, 16 final teams that have been split into groups of four. That's four groups of four. Matt. 15. Are battling through a seeded dual tournament stage. Now, this weekend at BlizzCon, you know, that small little get-together they're having down in SoCal, the top two teams from each of those groups will head to a single elimination bracket to be played on stage. No pressure. Once there, they will fight for the BlizzCon trophy as well as a share of the million-dollar prize pool. Not too shabby. First place taken home an entire half. 500,000. Mm -hmm. While second takes 200 grand and a semifinalist takes home 75 grand. Not too shabby for a single weekend of work. Not too shabby at all. Now we've got the typical teams in the finals like D Digni Dig Dignitas. Dignitas and uh, Fanatic. Fanatic. Man, this is the best part of the show. Try and How, now first of name. all, can I just say something? Yeah. Teams, if you're going to name yourself something, I know it's cool to put two consonants next to each other, but like, but, you know, do the rest don't. of us a, a yeah. solid and like, give us another name. Dignitas and Fanatic. Yes, but anyway, we think you might want to keep an eye on Roll20, aka North America's best shot at taking the championship. They've really been holding their own and making a name for themselves, plus their strategies and tactics make them a fun team to watch. It's true. To keep up with the news, follow them on Twitter at BlizzHeroes. Head to heroesofthestorm.com slash esports. Check out the schedules and standings or watch the action live at twitch.tv slash Blizz Heroes. Blizz Heroes. So also things. a lot of BlizzCon happening this weekend. Lots a of lot Blizzard of, things. Lots of Blizzard stuff, you know. <laughs> it's all Blizzard all the time, which all I'm time. sure we'll, we'll hear some more stuff when it comes to the Overwatch League. Absolutely. Coming out of BlizzCon. All right. Speaking of coming out, let's go to what we're Talking saying about, about yeah. things. There you go. I like it. I I'd like, like it. to say thank you to the audience in our studio for laughing at that terrible joke. <laughs> and by there that I mean go. the faux pas. I just they're just trying to be nice. So they are doing. They're 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 making things <laughs> the best. Yes. Yeah, so uh, get your votes in. We have some Rocket League up there. We Ooh. have Street Fighter, and we have Ten Gig Festival. This is something new. Yes. This is something new. This okay. is something that uh yeah. Well, I mean, you know what? We like to bring the big and the small. Mm -hmm. We are your one-stop shop. For the eSports. For everything. All eSports. <laughs> Just as many as we can fit into 30 minutes. Exactly. And looks like Rocket League Let's is going to come out with the victory. Shall, shall, I, shall I begin, Malik? Shall. Oh, thank you. Yes. Xfinity started the... Wow. Was that like... <laughs> like I felt like a 12-year-old boy there. Xfinity started the <laughs> Gfinity Elite Series. <laughs> Xfinity started that Gfinity Elite Series to finally give the UK eSports a league of their own. Gfinity plans to expand the league internationally in the hopes of creating a Gfinity Esports World Series, and they've got the Fulham tournament area to match, which is a great stadium. Rocket League being one of those series. Now, Endpoint was crowned Season 1 champs, and now are heading into Week 5 of Season 2. Competition has been fierce. Yes, Revved but, engines, you might say. Like it, I like it. But first, let's recap. Endpoint building themselves back up, getting their second straight win of the season against Infuse 3-1. This could be the start of Endpoint becoming the champion team once more after their loss in the first two weeks. It seems they're reminding people why they were Season 1 champions. Method went on, uh, on for their third win after the battle with Epsilon, and Epsilon isn't looking too hot, having lost every game so far this season. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> our two mega Not too hot. You're losing everything. <laughs> uh, that's a good spin. <laughs> there we go. Our two mega giants are still battling for supremacy as both Prophecy and Reason stay undefeated for another week. 
Prophecy winning against XL 3 to 1, and Reason taking out MVS Academy 3 to 0. Exactly. Now, hopefully, both teams can win their Week 5 matches and continue to stay undefeated as weeks up to Week 6. Now they're scheduled to face each other. Yeah. Obviously, because the drama doesn't stop there. It never stops. However, Seems Prophecy may have a tough match next week as they're taking on Season 1 champs Endpoint. This will truly tell us if Prophecy is as mighty as we believe, or if Endpoint finally found their Season 1 mojo once more. It's true. Now this week, we're highlighting an amazing play as I Ignite tries to clear the field, but Mama Snow sees it as an opportunity. Check this out. Way down field, but straight over into the middle. Excel. It's be I'm not even sure if we're still on right now, but you can hear us. Yeah, we're certainly on. Oh, we're All still right. on. So let's talk about precision. <laughs> yes, we can talk about precision in this game quite a bit, but calculating the pass and then angling your car so perfect to angle the ball's path towards the goal, this is truly insane. I'm telling you right we'll now. We'll hope to see much more of this insanity in the coming weeks, as well as keep you up to date on prophecies and reasons fight for the top spot. You can catch the Week 5 matches live this weekend over at mixture.com slash GFinity TV. It's true. Now, while they put up some more voting for us, I will say, if you want to talk about something that's fun to watch, that if you're if you got friends and family in your life, and you're like, hey, let me. Let, they want to understand what esports is. Yeah. I don't know. I would say try to watch some Rocket League because everybody yeah. can get them for that. Soccer, it's cars. It's together. Plus what more rockets. could you want? Plus rockets, and power ups and stuff like that. Honestly, if they're not interested, then. Boy, they don't then deserve that, to be in your it's life. true. Then, then yeah. that is <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I went there. That's Sorry. how it works. Yeah. Uh, right. Speaking of how it works, so we have ten gig final, uh, ten gig festival, Street Fighter Five, which seems to have taken the lead, and Madden, or is and, it tied? I can't see numbers. I, I can't see anything really. <laughs> I just I can't guess. read numbers, so <laughs> that's that works out for both of us. Yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like they're tied, Street Fighter and ten gig. So you know, I'm gonna break this tie. Ooh. As, as, as who, is, who else is gonna break the tie? Here we go. I voted. And that Okay, well, I didn't, it's not the one that I voted for, but... Well, see, there you, know you go. What? It's fine. Other people it. broke it as well. Yeah. 10 gig. 10 gig. So for those of you who may not know it, Chattanooga, Tennessee is actually somewhat well known for having the fastest internet in the world. Sure. PC Mag dubbed it the best ISP for gaming in the U.S. So what better thing to do with that kind of power than to host an esports event? Great. Yes, in partnership with EPB, Ryber Optics, Banner Media, Gary Vaynerchuk, I'm a big fan of him, and Next Generation Esports, the 10 gig launched their first esports festival lasting from October 6th through the 8th. The name of the festival, 10 gig, of course, coming from their 10 gigabits to gigabytes per second upload and download speed. Holy interrupt us, Batman. That's now there were crazy. panels, local art, food, and music, plus plenty of, of course, you know, esports. Now for the PUBG portion of the event, they had 100 computers set up on a LAN and made them available to attendees for open play. They did some competitive matches throughout the event as well with tons Oh, prizes to win. Tons of prizes. Uh, now, 10 gig. Played him and had a pub crawl. <laughs> yeah. 10 gig even had a pub crawl tournament featuring the arcade game Killer Queen. Teams signed up and played across three bars, earning points and the chance to play in the finals live on stage during their Sunday night show. The winning team took home $2,500. I'm a little bit upset that we didn't get invited to this yeah. because this sounds like something I would totally do. Yeah. Now, to top it off, they hosted a League of Legends Collegiate Invitational, which is actually one of the games that a lot of some different organizations, and by that I mean colleges across the United States, yep. are actually bringing to the forefront of esports in the collegiate scene. Now, while Texas A&M dominated from the start, ultimately taking the tournament, there were a couple other teams out to establish themselves as fierce competitors. Let's talk Mississippi State and Georgia Tech. That's stood out among them. And MSU showed up with some interesting drafts and strategies. These are definitely teams to watch for in the future. There's hope in the success of 10 gig continues. We can't wait to see what other tournaments will be hosted there next year. And if you want to know more information, look up 10 gig. There you go. Now, I was tasked before this episode, because you don't have a computer. I have none. With being Comet. And uh, the plasmatic it said, PUBG, hell yeah. Well. So there you go. This just in. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, so I believe we have two minutes left. So are we doing it? We're just going to skip to... Are we going to go for gonna do? Gonna do? Uh, upcoming tournaments? And of course we are. Time for upcoming Various tournaments. Various is... I'll take on Various okay, for you. Go for it. Here we go. If you're a fan of any of the Blizzard titles that are currently dominating the PC space, then you might be aware of a little something called BlizzCon. Although some games got off to an early start. Looking at you, StarCraft and Heroes. The rest of the Blizzard cast will be showcased starting tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific with the BlizzCon 2017 opening ceremony. Not only can you go to BlizzCon.com to find out the full schedule, but you can come to Mixer.com slash Mixer to view the opening ceremony of the event and chat about it with your fellow Mixer community members. Ooh, exciting. Holla! Holla. 
All right, <laughs> moving on to Halo and Forza. As we're sure some of you know, the newest console to the Xbox family is releasing next Tuesday, that being, of course, the Xbox One X. What you might not know is that at every Microsoft store, all 80 plus locations across the US, Microsoft will be holding Halo 5 and Forza 7 tournaments with prizes awaiting those few lucky participants who make it to the end. We'll also be broadcasting the launch of Xbox One on Mixer.com slash Xbox starting at 11 p.m. Eastern on Monday. So come in, come and tune in and re revel in the awesomeness that is Xbox One X with all of those stats that I listed off earlier. It's all of those stats. Now, those. coming in for the real thing, the two, take two, the 2017 World Championship for League is coming to a close tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific on lolesports.com. Now, the two surviving teams, Samsung Galaxy and SK Telecom 1, is actually a rematch of the 2016 World Championship Finals. Can't wait to see if the defending champion, SKT, will triumph or we will have a new victor in Samsung Galaxy. Mm, I wonder why they named it Samsung Galaxy. I think it was probably uh, somebody's last name. Mm, probably. That's probably what it was. You know. So <laughs> there's an honorable mention, Paladin's Console League. We have our Mixer exclusive pa uh, league, Paladin's Console Series, continuing this weekend with EU and NA action on Mixer.com slash Paladin's Game. Remember that anyone on the Xbox or PS4 can play in these tournaments, so take a chance, sign up, and maybe we'll be talking about you in a future episode. Yeah. Head over to paladinsworld.com for more info and for the full schedule. What's that URL? Uh, it's paladinsworld.com. Paladins I can spell it as well. Uh, P I'm just kidding. I was just joking. I was just not going to spell it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, obviously now I was going to say we'll be right here every Thursday at 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Eastern on this channel, mixer.com slash This Week in Esports. Be sure to watch this show and, of course, past and mm -hmm. potentially mm -hmm. future episodes later. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Watch Mixer for updates on the show and to know what's happening in the wide world of esports, but also... Yeah, also tune in to East, hashtag Esports Weekend starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time. We only show esports content on Mixer.com slash Channel One during the weekend, so I hope you come to tune in and check out the competition. And finally, don't forget to watch, what is that, Malik? Our, the best show on the internet, that is the sister show to this show, Tips oh, and Tricks, oh. every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern slash 3 p.m. Pacific on Mixer.com slash Tips and Tricks. Tips it's and very tricks. easy, it's and true. Ethan is waving. There is no raid, so don't even ask us. But mm. I will say, uh, it was a delight having you here. It was a pleasure. And, uh, Pleasure's all mine. I was going to say, tune into Xbox Live Sessions tomorrow at 7 p.m. She's going to be there. Pacific. Well, Rakari and I will be there doing some... Uh, mm. We're going to actually play some uh, Call of Duty uh, World mm -hmm, War II. Mm -hmm. with, with a, a little, special guest. With, with, with some celebrity guests. Never heard of her. But what's Megan her name? Fox, I've mm. been told she's, she will be there don't amongst others. Perhaps there will be more that you as well know. I just ask that you and Rakari remember the little people, you know. Sure, sure, sure. You guys are on the A-list. Little people are not to be, not to be missed. There you go. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me again, Kate. Hey, thank you for, thank you for participating in this little person show. It was great. It was great. We'll see you all next time. No raise. No raise.